Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. Today we are going to discuss uh, indefinite integration and this is a video lecture number 25. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 24 before watching part 25. In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, some questions, tricky questions which is very useful and uh, definitely uh, you will be able to understand the, and develop your thought process as well. So let us discuss uh, the very first question of today's session that is question number one and this question is dx upon x square plus one plus x to the power four whole divided by three to the power four like this. How to solve this is integration of irrational function. What we are dis discussing is integration of integration of irrational function irrational function right that what we are going to discuss today integration of irrational function so this is something where power is not exactly in form of rational but something irrational so to answer such question what to do uh, first of all i should take it on uh, x to the power 4 can be taken common if i took x to the power 4 common from this then what will happen x to the power 4 whole to the power 3 by 4 will come as a common and x to the power 4 whole to the power 3 by 4 like this x to the power 4 whole to the power 3 by 4 4 4 cancel x q will remain here so only x q will left and x q outside of that is x square so that will convert in power of x to the power 5 here it will remain 1 upon x to the power 4 into 1 whole to the power 3 by 4. In, in differentiation, uh, you can understand that whenever there is a power of x to the power something in denominator, then by derivative the power would increase. So here it would be x to the power 5. Means I can take here that 1 upon x to the power put substitution 1 upon x to the power 4 plus 1 is equal to t. So, derivative would be x to the power 5 for dx is equal to dt and therefore one can write it easily what that dx upon x to the power 5 that can be written as 1 minus 1 by 4 dt. Now come to the point what will be the integration. So, here dx upon x to the power 5 can be written as 1 by 4 dt. So, minus 1 by 4 dt upon this is t t to the power 3 by 4 that further can be written as t to the power minus 3 by 4 dt and now after doing this integration what will come minus 1 by 4 and uh, t to the power minus 3 by 4 would come like t to the power minus 3 by 4 plus 1 whole divided by minus 3 by 4 plus 1 so that would be minus 1 by 4 t to the power 1 by 4 divided 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 cancel so we can write here t to the power what that would be minus t to the power 1 by 4 plus c and so t is what t is 1 plus 1 by x to the power 4 whole to the power 1 by 4 plus c and further you can write it like this answer or moreover one can write it x to the power 4 plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 4 divided by x because x to the power 4 and x 1 by 4 x to the power 4 to the power 1 by 4 would be 1. So it can be also written in this way like uh, one can write it in place of this one can use it like this minus 1 plus x to the power 4 whole to the power 1 by 4 upon x plus c it can be also written like this. So the same thing both are same thing. So you can do that, right? I hope you got it. Now the next question is question number 2. I am taking here question number 2 and in this question the integration will be integration of under root 1 minus root x upon 1 plus root x dx. To answer this is also an irrational function. To answer such question what to do? We can put x is equal to root x is equal to x is equal to 
कॉस टू थीटा कॉस टू थीटा और कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा कॉस थीटा और कॉस टू थीटा कैन बी टेकन वाई बिकॉज वी हैव लर्न द सिचुएशन इज If there is anywhere one minus x upon one plus x in uh, and square root, this can be taken out. Proper substitution would be x is equal to either cos two theta or x is equal to cos theta will bring them out. How how they will be helpful to bring them out? One minus cos theta, you know from trigonometry, that would be two sine square theta, and one plus cos two theta would be two cos square theta. So in this way, one of numerator will come out and two cos square theta, whereas denominator will come out in form of two sine two sine square numerator and denominator two cos square. So two two cancel. Sine square by cos square would be tan square, and tan square will come out as tan theta. So that is why here we can do like this. Now in it means I have assumed here that x is equal to this is the substitution. What I did here, x is equal to under root x is equal to cos two theta. So x must be equal to cos square two theta. <coughs> cos square two theta. Or in place of cos two theta, even we can put it cos theta. So what will happen in that case? Cos x is equal to cos square theta. Unless we need to multiply by two, so I have reduced this in cos theta. Here. So x is equal to cos square theta. Dx would be Two cos theta into derivative of cos is minus sine theta and d theta. So dx will be minus two sine theta cos theta d theta like this. So we can write it here that uh, x is equal to what will come here. Integration will come uh, like under root of one minus under root x is cos theta. So one minus cos theta. Upon one plus cos theta, so into in place of dx we can write two sine theta cos theta d theta, right? So further it will come like integration of one minus cos theta is two sine square theta two two cancel two cos square theta what we had discussed here. So the same thing will come here. And that will come in form of two sine square theta by two because here in place of two theta, then it will come theta. If there is a theta, then it will come theta by two. So numerator will come sine theta by two, while denominator will come in form of cos theta by two. Now minus two can be taken out. Sine theta can I write sine theta further as two sine theta by two cos theta by two? Yes, I can write it. And cos theta is as it is. Why I have written this? Just to cancel them. These two will cancel. And now, what is left? Two sine square theta. So that will come up. Two sine square theta by two, which is further can be written as one minus cos theta, and into cos theta, d theta. So we can write it minus two, and this is cos theta, and minus cos square theta, right? So d theta. Now we can again write it as two cos square theta minus two cos theta d theta minus two multiply this side. Two cos square theta further can be written as one plus cos two theta minus two cos theta d theta. Right. Now we can write it like integration of One is theta, cos two theta is also sine two theta by two, and integration of cos is sine, right now. So minus two sine theta. Again plus c. Can I write this sine two theta as two sine theta cos theta? Yes, I can write it. So that will come further as two sine theta cos theta. So two and two will cancel. Sine theta cos theta. Sine theta, cos theta, right? So, sine theta, cos theta, minus two sine theta plus c. Now we have to substitute the value of theta as well. So what we can write for? Uh, let me explain this. What and how to write? Under root x is equal to cos theta. So we know the under root x is equal to cos theta. I can write. 
under root x is equal to cos theta since under root x is equal to cos theta so cos square x is equal to cos square theta and sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta so 1 minus root x 1 minus x and sin theta would be under root 1 minus x so if i substitute this value and theta would be sin inverse theta would be cos inverse root x so we can write cos inverse root x let me write on the next slide we can write further this as cos inverse root x right theta is cos inverse root x plus sin theta is under root 1 minus x cos theta is root x and 2 sin theta is what under root 1 minus x plus c so in that way answer can be written as cos inverse under root x right and that is plus under root if you multiply these two x my under root x x minus x square right minus 2 under root 1 minus x plus c that would be answered so in this way you can solve this i hope you got it this is a good question because irrational functions usually create difficulty to solve the questions so that is why it is a good question and generally students are confused about this type of question that how to solve such question now question number three so now consider this question under root x upon under root a q minus x q right dx i have given this question to many of my students but uh, usually most of the students are not able to solve um, this in first attempt and uh, many can solve but they are taking too much time and uh, in second third fourth attempt they are able to succeed but most of them are unable to solve this question so what and how to solve do you have an idea if you have please apply if you don't have please wait so what to do and how to solve this question to answer such question uh, i have a trick in which you can do this if i took here that uh, x to the power this further can be rearranged as root x upon under root a to the power 3 by 2 whole square minus x to the power 3 by 2 whole square can i write like this yes i can and dx is there now i can go for substitution and what is the substitution put x to the power 3 by 2 is equal to t why because it would be t square so that will be 3 by 2 under root x dx is equal to dt. So we can easily write root x dx is equal to 2 by 3 dt. So here root x dx is there and for this we can write what we can write here 2 by 3 cat can be taken outside dt upon now this will come a to the power 3 by 2 whole square minus t square and now this is in form of this is constant now so a square minus x square form right so that is sine inverse x by a so it would be 2 by 3 sine inverse t upon a to the power 3 by 2 plus c and that will be further can be written as 2 by 3 sine inverse t is nothing else but x to the power 3 by 2 right and that is a to the power 3 by 2 plus c or we can write the same thing here that 2 by 3 sine inverse x by a whole to the power 3 by 2 plus c and that would be answered so isn't it a good question right yes now the next question is i can take here question number four and what is that try to understand question is integration x cube divided by x square minus a square whole to the power 3 by 2 dx right that is a question so we have learned so much about this type of substitution and what is that that whenever there is x square minus a square type pattern we will put substitution what x is equal to a sec theta remember na? 
yes i hope you remember this so x is equal to a sec theta if there was let me recall a square plus x square then you may assume x is equal to a tan theta and whenever there is a x a square minus x square then we will take it as x is equal to a sin theta so doing this again and again why because people will get able to understand and why this because it will come outside a minus x upon a plus x then you should take substitution x is equal to a cos theta or a cos 2 theta like this so that is a very very important one you must remember this uh, it will great, be a great help to uh, do some questions on the basis of this so this is an important one important remember this now what to do if i take here x is equal to a sec theta put x is equal to a sec theta so dx is equal to a sec theta tan theta d theta right dx is equal to a sec theta tan theta d theta got it okay now uh, we can assume it here ax is equal to a sec theta then what will be the integrand integrand will come here x q that is a q sec q theta and in denominator it will come a square sec square theta minus a square whole to the power 3 by 2 and in place of dx we can write a sec theta tan theta right d theta a sec theta tan theta d theta a sec theta tan theta and d theta that can be written as so a into a q would be a to the power 4 that can be taken outside sec q theta into sec theta would be sec to the power 4 theta and tan theta d theta whole divided by a square if i took common then a square will be power 3 by 2 so that will come a q right 2 to cancel now sec square theta minus 1 would be tan square theta and that will be also tan q theta because tan square theta whole to the power 3 by 2 so tan q theta one tan and one tan can be cancelled a q and a 4 can be cancelled so this will come sec 4 theta sec square theta into sec square theta can i write like this and divided by tan square theta tan square theta right because one tan and one tan will cancel now i can write the same thing here and what is that a if sec square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta or if i can write here sin square by cos square then what will happen can i write this sin square cos square in form or if i took tan theta is equal to t then sec square theta d theta is equal to dt that will be further can be converted or one can write here sec square theta would be 1 by cos square theta that would be sin square by cos square so cos square cos square cancel sin square will left in denominator and cos sec square will come in denominator it will be cos square so it will be 1 upon sin square theta cos square theta can i write like this now if i can multiply by 4 in numerator and denominator then this can be written as a 4 upon 2 sin theta cos theta whole square that is sin square 2 theta d theta that is 4a cosec square 2 theta right and cosec square 2 theta is minus cot 2 theta by 2 plus c and now that will come here minus 2a cot 2 theta plus c so what i can write here for minus 2a cot 2 theta plus c cot 2 theta can be written as 1 upon tan 2 theta right can i write like this and tan 2 theta can be written as in form of v since we have to write in form of sec theta no? so what to do and how to do try to understand here cot 2 theta can be written as 
1 upon tan 2 theta and tan 2 theta can be written as 1 minus tan square theta upon 2 tan theta and tan knows about the sec so what I can write 1 minus one sec square theta minus 1 upon 2 tan theta so this tan theta can be also written as sec square theta minus 1 under root sec square theta minus 1 and now this will come 2 minus sec square theta upon 2 into under root sec square theta minus 1 and we know the value of sec theta what x by a sec theta would be x by a so what i can write here that further it will come like minus 2a cot 2 theta can be written as 2 minus sec square theta whole divided by 2 into under root sec square theta minus 1 plus c 2 and 2 cancel so what will come a 2 minus since x is equal to a tan theta na? x is equal to a sec theta so sec theta is nothing else but x by a so sec square theta is nothing else but x square by a square so i can put here x square by a square and here i, I can put under root x square by a square minus 1 so it would be x square minus a square whole divided by a will come can i write like this x square by a square whole divided by a because a square will come outside from root and it will be a only now this will come uh, here this a will come in numerator and that will be minus a square this is 2a square minus x square whole divided by a square and hold here under root x square minus a square a square a square cancel plus c you need to write and further it will be minus or why i should write minus i can multiply with minus and there it would be x square minus 2a square whole divided by x square minus a square plus c that will be answer of this question so hopefully uh, you got this what to do and how to do this question so let us consider the next question and the question is uh, here fourth question i can say this is a question next question and the question is integration of dx upon under root 1 plus root x into under root x square minus x x minus x square to answer such question what to do you know if i put x is equal to sine square theta then sine square theta that would be sine 4 theta if i took sine square theta then it will be 1 minus sine square theta which will come up cos square theta so either you can put x is equal to sine square theta or x is equal to cos square theta let us do uh, go for the substitution what i have decided put x is equal to sine square theta so dx would be 2 sine theta cos theta d theta everybody know this now if i write here this integration will come like integration will be dx in place of dx we can write 2 sin theta cos theta d theta here this is 1 plus because x is equal to sin square theta so root x is sin theta just sin theta right and now this will come here x is sin square theta and that would be sin 4 theta so if i took here that uh, sin square theta can be taken common it will be 2 sin theta cos theta d theta in denominator it will be 1 plus sin theta into if i took sin square theta common it will be sin square theta cos square theta which will come further outside and it will be sin theta cos theta so these two can be cancels out right now 1 plus sin theta left so easily it can be solved it is 2 d theta upon 1 plus sin theta so one can write it easily that multiply by 1 minus sin theta to numerator and denominator it will be 1 minus sin theta and in denominator it will be cos square theta 
So I can write this 1 upon cos square theta that is sec square theta sin theta by cos square theta is sec theta tan theta. And now you know this is well known integration. So we can write this tan theta sec square theta is tan theta and sec theta tan theta integration of that is sec theta plus c. But the most challenging thing is that we need to put the values. So how to put those values? x is equal to since sin square theta. So sin theta would be root x. Cos square theta will be 1 minus x. So cos theta would be under root 1 minus x and sin theta would be under root x. This is sin theta. So tan theta we can write here tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. So root x upon 1 minus x that can be written as x upon 1 minus x. So finally we can write here the answer in form of what? We can write this answer in form of 2 into for tan x I can write x upon 1 minus x. For sec x this is the reciprocal of 1 minus x. So it is nothing else. We can write this under root 1 minus x. This is also under root 1 minus x and plus c that will be the answer. So we can write like this. I hope you got it. x is equal to sin theta square theta what I have to and that all will come out like this. So root under x minus 1. If I took root x minus 1 will come numerator. Further if you want to write it you can write further this in form of what? This can be written also as uh, root x minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x right plus c so that will be for the better way to express this answer so that is also the way in which one can answer this question hopefully uh, you got this now the next question is so the next question is under root x upon 1 plus x can i write like this yes this is a question now so what to do this to solve this question uh, this is a very peculiar type question what to do usually we don't get what to do in prime of c but such partial fractions can be taken out as we can multiply by x in numerator as well as in denominator inside the root so what will happen 1 minus x into x dx so it will come x into x will come out from the root and that will be x and dx and in denominator it will be under root x minus x square similar thing now i can use it because it is in inside the square root it is a negative so i can take it 1 plus 1 minus it can be 1 minus 1 minus 2x it can, x derivative of x square would be 2x now so i can multiply the same thing by 2 and divide by 2 so 2x and 2 we can do that now we can add 1 and subtract 1 right now so it will come like 1 minus 1 plus 2x so it will be taken as this 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 way because minus minus plus 1 1 cancels out that will be under root x minus x square dx now further this can be written as 1 upon under root x minus x square dx minus 1 by 2 1 minus 2x upon under root 1 x minus x square under root x minus x square minus 1 by 2 x minus x square and dx so it can be written as 1 by 2 integration of dx upon under root x minus x square we can make it perfect square so to do the perfect square what to do I should take minus common and this will be x square minus x coefficient of x half of coefficient square of half of coefficient of x to be added and subtracted so I can write like this now here since the derivative of this in numerator so that would be 2 root denominator x minus x square this will come now still integration sign is there so I can't remove this sign now it will come like what is this 
this will come here 2 2 cancel and that will come here 1 by 2 dx upon minus minus plus this will be 1 by 2 whole square minus x minus 1 by 2 whole square these two things will come so can i write like this it will be minus under root x minus x square so here the formula will be a square minus x square a square minus x square that is a plus x upon a minus x 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 a a is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 a log a plus x 1 by 2 plus x minus 1 by 2 and a minus x minus x plus 1 by 2 right so this is minus under root x minus x square plus c can be written got it so this is 2 to cancel finally the answer will be 1 by 2 left here log half minus half half log x upon 1 minus x modulus and minus under root x minus x squared plus c that will be answer of this question so i hope uh, you got it how to deal with a rational function right and uh, some more important and good questions we will discuss in the next class till then bye bye keep watching and uh, subscribe this channel as well and must try anand try or uh, or uh, dekhte rahe video thank you thank you very much